Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm over here in the car editing the video real quick and I realize the camera quality is still really bad. Bear with me, my G7X Mark III came in, so you'll be shooting an insane, insane quality in the next video. Just the last video that's gonna have the shitty camera quality. So I'm sorry for that. Forgive me, last video, I promise. I made sure to upgrade the camera so you guys are only gonna be getting better stuff from here. Without further ado, enjoy the video. In this video, it's probably one of my favorite mods for the 128, so stay tuned. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today, it's pretty much a fully dedicated video for the 128. So we got a lot of cool things. One thing is gonna be working on the headlights. We have a lot of LED mods outside to the inside, all kinds of good stuff. We're gonna be doing some rear end stuff as well. Bumper, maybe even a muffler delete. We're gonna do a whole lot of cool stuff in this video, so stay tuned. First thing I wanna figure out is why my headlights are aimed so low. The SSC is pretty much to the ground. When I'm driving at night, I swear, I can't see anything on the road. We're gonna go ahead and just adjust that real quick. So I don't know if you guys know how to do it. It's basically that screw back there. Just twist it left or right and that should adjust the headlight height accordingly. So the headlight's already adjusted. It's actually really easy. I just use a flathead and screw the little thing I showed you guys behind the headlight. So that is that now, but we actually got some mods for the headlights, so let's go ahead and install some of those as well. Before we do that, go ahead and do a TikTok. I'm trying to get into TikTok, so we're gonna go ahead and just plan out a little skit real quick. If you guys wanna see what I just post, nope, you guys ain't seeing that. Make sure to check me out on TikTok. All right, guys, so this is how she's looking right now. Yellow turn signals, yellow, pretty much yellow, you know, turn signals everywhere, hazard lights. These are also in yellow. They're actually pretty bright for the one series to so be quite impressed with, but they are yellow. Um, these are yellow as well. These are not as bright on this side, which is kind of weird. Like, that's brighter than this side, whatever. Again, yellow turn signals. These as well. And when you open the door, that's interior lighting you get. So, uh, not that bright. So, uh, we want some white LEDs for sure. Let's go ahead and just upgrade all the LEDs on this car all the lights, I just wanna see this with a more updated look. This is a 2011, so it deserves to look a little bit more updated. Just ended up taking out the halo bulb. Actually, it's this one. The grooves in the inside are different. So they're bright, guys, but they're not that bright. Like, I feel like this one's bright, but this is not bright at all, in all honesty. So that is that. Let's go ahead and test it on the other side. Maybe there's something wrong with the headlight. All right, guys, honest review. See how those light up and that one is not lighting up? I'm, I'm not feeling it. So it is bright. You guys can see that white is bright, but for some reason, it's not making that other halo light up. And I tested out both bulbs on that side. It's the same thing. I don't know what's going on there. So I think for the halos, I'm going to keep them white. I'm probably going to order a better set. But for the interior lights, go ahead and start replacing those. Let's go ahead and try out the fog lights next. All right, guys, so the fog lights are yellow. I think the ones that came with them are LED white. So let's go ahead and install at least the upgraded fog lights. Okay, I can 100% confirm. I think that's the fog light. That looks so much better. Look at the difference, guys. So much better. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and replace that one as well. That white LED looks 10 times nicer, super bright. That one's dull, so at least I, I, I think we figured out the fog light situation. Check that out, it looks super good. At least those fog lights look a lot better. So I'm super happy with that. I don't normally use fog lights, but those are sick. It's only blinking on the camera, don't worry guys, in person it actually looks pretty cool. So I mean, yeah, that was a success. Let's go ahead and start getting an interior. Maybe I got some of these too, I don't know. I think I might have some of these bulbs. All right guys, that's the after. I just replaced the bulb. It actually looks identical to this one. I don't see any difference. I'm so confused. Safe to say, this was the new bulb, so I guess I'm not installing that either. Um, so um, let's go ahead and actually start doing these ones. I know this makes the biggest difference. Uh, let's go ahead and just drop this thing. Let me go ahead and figure out how I can drop it without breaking it so we can replace these bulbs. So I like to drop this thing. I don't know if you guys know how to do it, but basically if I put this back up, you just put your hand right behind this until you get to the back of this thing and then you just push the clip in. Once you push the clip in, you'll be able to just slide it out. So that's pretty much as easy as that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take this whole thing off and work on the workbench because uh, I'm not trying to do it in the car. Bam, all right, so these are white LEDs. This middle one is not. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back because it's not even working at this point. All right, guys, so I don't think I'm actually gonna uh, go ahead and give you guys the name or a link to this product, uh, mainly because 
I, I just, a lot of the bulbs didn't work. Until I figure out what's going on here, I mean, some of the bulbs are not working, some of them are not fitting, and some of them are, are, are just missing. So, um, I don't have the complete kit, so I'm gonna go ahead and reach out to them, figure out what's going on here, and I'll let you guys know about that. So there will be a, another bulb video, hopefully down the road. But anyways, let's get to the main topic of this video, which is the rear bumper, because that's the thing we wanna really see. All right, Jonathan's doing me a solid. He's just gonna bring his car around real quick to hook this thing up. Even the windshield wipers are going crazy. Um, this is an epic fail of an LED install video, so this is why it's not gonna be the topic of this video. We're actually gonna be installing the new bumper, which I'll be showing you guys in a second. Let's just go ahead and get this thing some power, honestly. Damn, I don't know how that, I don't know how I feel about the sound of that, Johnny. Gotta love BMWs. How you feeling, Johnny? What is that ticket? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why is he man. Kicking? <laughs> oh, just jump my shit, Johnny. Oh, man. Pop the hood. Oh, dick. All right, so we just got my car started, and now Jonathan's is down. <laughs> oh, out of nowhere, it just starts ticking, and then you see the car start vibrating? Well, it was vibrating. But then now it's fine. Oh. Thing is, if the car doesn't throw a check engine light or a code, you really don't know what it is, so you kind of have to drive it until you figure it out, unless you know the problem. Like, if you know it's good on oil, then you're just gonna have to keep driving until you figure out what the code is, and then you run the codes. It's, it's honestly, that's what, that, it sucks, but that's what you have to do. Anyways, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit before bringing it into the garage and turning it off because I don't want it to die again. Let me just show you guys how the bumper looks. And there we have it. So this is the M1 style front, uh, rear bumper. You guys saw I have the M1 style front bumper. Um, that came with the car. I decided, you know what, might as well just at least continue the conversion, finish it off. The guy never finished it, let's finish it. I think these are kind of dope. I don't know exactly how I feel about them, but they're pretty nice. It has a sensor cut out, so I'll still be able to use those functions because I'm still trying to keep this car practical for what it is. It's still a daily, it's not a sports car. Just trying to make it look better. The diffuser, it is a quad tip, so we're gonna have to end up going with that as well. But also, since we're not doing a muffle delete in this video, I just won't be rocking the diffuser unless it actually fits. We'll see how it goes once we slap this thing on. All right guys, so that is how the rear end looks right now. The only flaw is like right there, I don't know if you guys can see it. Not a big deal, but it's not the reason I'm replacing the bumper. It's just, this bumper is just really ugly. I, d I don't like it. So let's go ahead and remove it real quick and test fit that one end bumper. I think that's gonna be super sick. We'll get it painted eventually, probably in a, uh, less than a week, but I just wanna test fit it right now. BMWs without bumpers are like one of the few cars that I love. They just look so good because they have all this extra stuff. If you literally take apart like a Honda Civic in the rear, it looks so bad. This looks actually so dope. Anywho, let's go ahead and slap on the new bumper. Cannot wait to see that, how that thing will look on it. It's definitely gonna look a lot better than that ugly stock bumper. Hey, I almost forgot. We gotta move the sensors over. Let's do that real quick. coming together so nicely. I cannot wait for this thing to get painted, but let's just go ahead and start buttoning up the rest of this stuff. The diffuser, unfortunately, is not gonna fit. Let me show you guys the diffuser real quick. So it's already pre-painted to this gray look, which is really nice. So when I get the car, so when I get the bumper painted silver, this won't be the same color, which is super cool. It's already pre-painted and everything. This is a quad tip, unfortunately. I thought it was a dual tip, but it's quad tips. I guess we're going quad tips on our 128. It's fine, it's whatever. I'm still keeping the 128i badge on here. I'm not trying to rep anything that I don't own, but I still think it's gonna be super cool. Especially I've noticed N52s with muffle deletes do really nice burbles. Like just like this, like they have this like stock burble sound, which sounds really good. Anyways, anyways, let's go ahead, finish up putting together the rest of this thing and close the truck and see how it looks. All right, guys, that's how she's sitting right now. It's definitely gonna need a spoiler. I did notice also when I put on the headlights, I forgot you need to like have it upwards before you tighten it. So I'll readjust these after the bumper gets painted. I'll probably even tell the shop to just 
line these up properly. Not a big deal. But oh my god, this bumper is looking so much better. Imagine with the diffuser as well, the quad tips, the muffle delete. I'm also going to be getting a wing over here as well. It's just a small little spoiler. The fitment on this bumper is actually insane. I'm going to have a link down below. This is not from Amazon. This is not from like, I wish Keys Motorsports had this. It's not from them either. This is actually from eBay, which is surprising. It's $400. It's not cheap, but... I think it looks super good. So yeah, that's how she's looking right now. Hopefully in the next couple of videos, we're either gonna have that thing painted and uh, you know, muffle delete and all that stuff. Or in this uh, next couple of videos, we'll be having the mods in for this one. I already have suspension, wheels, and a bunch of things coming in for the 435. A lot of engine mods. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. But right now we gotta figure out what's going on. The fuel and oil mixture. So um, assuming that's all because of the fuel injectors. So we're gonna go ahead, place an order on some fuel injectors. What are you gonna do? That's life. Might as well do the maintenance now because we're gonna be pushing some big power soon. So without further ado, guys, if you guys want to support the channel, make sure to check out those links down below. Hashtag CBMW. Every decal supports the channel. Make sure to tag me on Instagram when you guys actually put that on your car. I'd be more than happy to repost it. And without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cert cause I wanna have worth.